Cyber criminals gaining access to your computer has become a very serious threat in today's digital world. Stealthily accessing your system, hackers can get free reign of all your personal details and accounts, install harmful malware, and can turn your life upside down. But there are certain signs you can look out for that might just save you some serious trouble if you spot them early. Here are some clear signs that your computer has been hacked. Slow, hot, and hungry. There's a good reason that many types of malware are referred to as viruses, because just like a human virus, it spreads throughout a system and saps energy as the system tries to work around it. Because of this, a virus can usually be identified by signs of extra strain. Malware often installs unwanted programs on your computer that use up a lot of system resources, making legitimate programs lag and freeze up. All those extra processes generate more heat, making the computer run noticeably hotter and the cooling fans noisier than usual. This adds another layer of damage as the additional heat wears out the computer's internal components. But even if there are no outward signs of trouble, your electricity bill increasing without you knowingly using more power could indicate it's time to do a little system cleaning. Another sign of malware's presence is your computer taking a long time to start up, as programs installed by the virus are given priority. These types of unwillingly installed programs almost always use up some of your internet data allowance too. Malware often uses a network of infected computers to perform online background tasks for websites. It's as if the hackers plant tiny gremlins in your computer to dig up information and carry out their nefarious plans. If you have suspicions, use your internet provider's tools for monitoring your bandwidth consumption, comparing the amount of bandwidth used with the prior months. Just don't forget to factor in that weekend you spent eating Ben and & Jerry's and binge watching Tiger King. If there is a drastic change in consumption, there's a good chance you've been hacked. Take me home. Some of the most common aims for hackers involve hijacking your browsers. They use this method to generate web traffic to specific sites, often in exchange for a commission or other payments. If you see an unexpected new homepage when you open your browser and it's not part of a browser update, your computer may be compromised. But that might not be the only strange thing in your browser. If an unusual toolbar appears that didn't come with other recently installed legitimate software, there may be trouble afoot. These toolbars prey on the non-observant and older people who aren't familiar with how their toolbar should look and can slow down browsers and install additional malware. They also track your activity and are usually intentionally difficult to completely uninstall. Kind of like that nosy neighbor you can't get to stop spying. Destination unknown. Even if you don't have strange toolbars or mysterious home screens going on, if you notice your internet searches being redirected somewhere unrelated, you've got trouble on your hands. If your browser is getting stuck on the messages connecting to, redirect, waiting for, or processing a request, and may be being forced to visit unwanted sites, often it's pretty obvious that something's wrong because a simple search will be redirected to something totally unrelated. You might search for types of cabbage and end up on a website about Bigfoot. You might even look for a virtual church service and end up on a German hardcore adult film site. Is it Cartman's mom? Oh, very funny. Hey, it is Cartman's mom. You never know what you might get, but you'll know something isn't right. Don't underestimate the seriousness of these redirects, as it means someone already has access to your computer. In this compromised position, you could easily be redirected to a website that will steal your sensitive information or trick you into installing more malware. Check for any abnormalities in website URLs and make sure no one's taking your browser for a joyride. Uninvited guests. Once hackers have access to your system, it means having access to your accounts as well. Social media is a very effective way to spread a virus, so often the person responsible will automate messages to all your contacts. Usually the messages will include a link and some text designed to rile up the recipient, like, OMG, I can't believe your nudes got leaked. Here's the link. They might even make it sound like you're in trouble and ask for money to be wired or for other sensitive information. If your friends start messaging you to ask why you send messages of this kind, change all of your passwords immediately. Always keep an eye on your sent email folders and social media posts and chats. Another red flag is noticing an increase in your number of friends or followers, especially if you don't know who they are. Or if friends start getting friend requests from you, even though you are already connected, someone may have created a fake account using your identity. In these situations, it's always best to contact the fraud team responsible for the platform you're using. 
or just adopt a new identity and start fresh. Your choice. Password problems. With cross-device keychains and automated passwords now the norm, the importance of strong, varied passwords is easy to forget. But if you're repeatedly told your login credentials are incorrect while trying to log into various accounts despite knowing they're correct, your passwords probably aren't as safe as you assumed. There are many ways a hacker can access your passwords. They might do so by getting you to enter your username and password on a fake version of a social media login screen. They might have an algorithm in place to crack it through repeated guesses, which works quicker if your password is simple or common. Whatever the method, once they're in, hackers can lock you out while they gain access to any other connected accounts. If you find yourself mysteriously locked out, act fast. It's a serious situation as they likely now have access to your confidential information and can exploit this fully. If possible, try to reset your password and activate two-factor authentication if it's available. If you're quick to spot the warning signs, you may be able to fix it before any major damage is done. Surprise software. An unmissable sign that your computer has been hacked or is about to be is noticing programs have been installed without your knowledge or permission. Of course, it's worth making sure you didn't unknowingly install them automatically when installing other programs. If you're suspicious, do not launch the mysterious new programs. Doing so could trigger the next stage of the virus. Research the program name online with the term virus to see if anyone else has encountered it and figure out where it came from. Sometimes though, computer viruses install themselves under the convincing disguise of legitimate programs, especially through torrenting platforms. If you download something that seems suspicious, you can use virus software or a free site like VirusTotal to scan the file for malware. Mouse control. Have you noticed your mouse moving of its own accord? Does it click icons and open programs against your will? Or conveniently move away when you try clicking to run a security scan? In the unlikely event you answered yes, this isn't just a glitch in the system. If that stuff occurs commonly, it's a sign that a hacker has gained remote access to your computer. This means they can access everything you can. And if they've got this far, they're not going to be shy about rooting through your most personal information. If you notice this happening, disconnect any ethernet cables and turn off your Wi-Fi before running a system scan with antivirus software. The most important thing is that you break the internet connection. Otherwise, that hacker's going to make mincemeat of any privacy you once had. Disabled assistance. Of course, malware's arch nemesis is your anti-malware software. So it makes sense that viruses often try to disable any antivirus tools before a problem is detected. Keep an eye out to make sure your antivirus hasn't been disabled or uninstalled without your permission. In some cases, you may find that task manager or registry editor also either won't start or are being forced to close. This is a resounding confirmation that your computer has malicious software, which is trying to stop you taking back control. If you're being blocked from installing or running antivirus software, unless you're a real computer whiz, your only real options are to restore from a previous backup or reformat your device. Neither is gonna be pretty, but that's why antivirus software exists, to prevent. Missing money. It's everyone's worst nightmare. Noticing huge spends on your bank account, none of which were made by you, not even while drunk shopping. Unexplained spends usually occurring after setting up a new account on a shady app or website mean the hacker achieved their ultimate goal, free money courtesy of you. Often these cyber criminals aren't looking for petty cash. They're looking to drain entire bank accounts fast. A good preventative measure is to activate transaction alerts on your phone to keep track, though your bank will most likely inform you about large unusual spends. Usually a bank will be able to reverse a transaction if it's found to be fraudulent but it isn't always guaranteed. If your online bank account is compromised, change all of your online passwords as the hacker likely found a way in through one of your other accounts. Fake concerns. While browsing the less well-regulated corners of the internet, you may have encountered these fake virus warnings that pop up from time to time. These are designed to make you panic click without thinking, luring you into a trap. These trap links will offer an antivirus software to remove the fake threat but once the user downloads it, the real malware is unleashed. Of course, it's important to check that these pop-ups aren't your actual antivirus software doing its job, possibly made unfamiliar in appearance by an update. It's also important to remember that it's pretty normal to come across these fake warnings on the odd occasion while browsing. But if these types of messages are popping up frequently for you or reference specific personal information, then you should be suspicious. 
duplicated doppelgangers. When it comes to your files, two for the price of one isn't as good of a deal as you'd think. If files on your computer are appearing doubled up across the board without your permission, you may have a ransomware virus on your hands. These nasty pieces of malware generate plain text copies of every file on your computer, with the original file becoming inaccessible without paying money. This amount is usually in Bitcoin and the ransom note will appear whenever you try to access your files. In many of these cases, the only way to get your computer back is to reformat your entire device. Update Trouble it can get pretty annoying when a software update keeps popping up in the corner of your computer screen. But as irritating as they can be, these updates are essential to plug any security holes and software vulnerabilities, and malware creators know this all too well. If you try to update your system only to find you're prevented from restarting your device, or there's no response when you click update, a virus could well be responsible. On the other side of the spectrum, an equally worrying sign is when your computer restarts suddenly for no apparent reason. When important software is installed or updated, computers usually need to reboot to finish up. So a random or forced restart might mean that malware has been installed and has triggered a reboot to finalize the process. If this happens, hand things over to your antivirus. Watching from afar. Arguably the creepiest and most unnerving sign of a hacked computer is if the little colored light near the lens of your webcam lights up, seemingly without reason. When lit, this light indicates that your web camera is being used right now, which means someone is watching and probably recording you for nefarious purposes. This is called camfecting and occurs when your computer is infected by malware that gives hackers permission to remotely seize control of your webcam. Some hackers are even able to activate your webcam without activating the indicator light. So to be safe, it's a good idea to block your webcam when you aren't using your computer because it's one thing for a hacker to see your sense of information, it's a whole other ballgame when the hacker could see you. Is anybody else looking at their laptop suspiciously right now? Do you know of any other signs your computer has been hacked? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.